Are you okay? Jacob, yes he is. Now I know the difference between Europe, UK, and all the places inside of it. Okay, okay what's the difference between Europe and okay. UK? Okay, UK is the places that speak English, hence London, England. And what's Europe? Europe is the countries in this part of the world. So like, could be France, Switzerland. Are you okay? Jacob, yes he is, bro. Natalie, Jacob. the UK is in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jazzy Podcast. We are back with another episode, you guys, and I know our background's like a little bit different and confusing. Let me explain. We're actually in France. Before we tell you, let us know in the comments right now what part of France you think we're in. Damn it, I almost spoiled it. Yeah, <laughs> let us know where you think we are. Like, pause this. Where are we in France, okay? And by the way, if all you can think about is Paris, yeah, me too. I had no idea of all of the little, like, cities inside of actual France. But we're going to get into everything we are. You want to tell them where we're at? We are in Nice, France. If you guess it correctly, we'll give you $500. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone, uh, everyone comments it. <laughs> no, we are currently in Nice, France. And if you don't know where that is, it's basically the south of France, right on the coast. And it's a beautiful, beautiful little town. Um, I'm actually obsessed and I can't believe that I didn't believe or I didn't know this place existed. Did you know about Nice, France? I had no clue, bro. All I knew was like Paris and a couple other places. I just knew I Paris, swear. yeah. Yeah, so it's just been so much fun. Hold on. We have like an entire bottle of champagne. Oh. We have an entire bottle of champagne right here, but I don't think we should pop it because they don't have a price tag on it. When they don't have price tag on things that. in the hotel, do not even touch it because they're hiding it for a reason. Yeah, we were going to pop it yesterday when we got, ah, sorry. I'm just making a mess with my Capri Sun. Babe, we're, I might not be able to do this. We were going to pop it yesterday, but we were like, no, nah, let's be smart and not pop it because yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing's like a couple hundred dollars. Minimum. Minimum. Okay, I'm not going to be able to pop Mine into the champagne bottle. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. That shit made a mess. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we are currently in France, you guys, and we are going to catch you up because we have been all over the place. And kind and of MIA all over our social medias. Yeah, just kind of not been active and stuff. And you guys know that on the podcast is kind of like where we get to actually get more into detail about things and just kind of everything. And I think the last time we spoke to them was with Simi, right? So, but that wasn't even about our life. So it was a podcast before that, which was over a month ago. Yeah, that, that podcast was actually filmed. We had to pre-film that podcast because our launch on Spotify, Apple Music, literally I, anywhere you can listen to the podcast, um, you can hear it. But our, yeah. our we had to prepare for our launch on that time. And so we yeah. pre-filmed that video. So we are on all platforms, you guys. So if you are watching this on YouTube and you decide that, hey, I want to listen to the audio version when I'm going on a road trip or going to work or, or cleaning. Or the gym the gym anything we are now available on apple podcast spotify and every other platform you can think of so please go leave us a review please it's gonna be the link to review us is gonna be in the description please review us please help yes, so much it helps us so much so we are officially on all networks and now you know that we are actually with working with a network um and that was our big big news that we had not released to you guys but it's official now we are fully on board with pioneers so we are now all good to go and we also need to give us like give ourselves a pat on the back and thank you guys as well because on our very first podcast we went we charted on apple's podcast i believe number eight for number relationship eight. yeah and that is insane that is insane i nice would have never thought nice that, work, baby. we just started this podcast as like a little hobby and then it ended yeah. up turning out to be such a good thing we did and i'm glad we did this too because I, I don't know we could talk about anything we could talk about literally me golfing and then you guys would be like Oh, eating it up. Yeah. And it's awesome because, again, on our YouTube videos, they don't really get to really get a, to hear a lot of our stories and a lot of the things that happen behind the scenes. Because as you guys know, if you have been a podcast watcher for a while now, you know that whatever happens in our vlogs, there is so much more to the story. And we just simply cannot put it into our vlogs because, one, we are trying to... I don't know, reach a certain demographic when it comes, like we don't want to go on there and talk about all of like the lame things that happen on a lot of the, you know, like rude, inner, rude, what is it? Um, Interactions with people. Like we just don't want to do that because the vlogs are something like a lot of you guys go to our vlogs, not because you want real and raw or none of that. Like you go to our vlogs because- For comfort. Yeah, like you want entertainment, you know? So on the podcast, we're able to- really like deep dive and tell them about everything yeah i know so it's super super exciting so let's catch up last time we spoke we were in tennessee we were in pulaski tennessee if you dude what 
I just want to hit a little bit on this real quick. We were in like the middle of nowhere in Tennessee, right? Like yeah. the farthest you can get from like a city. And we got recognized. Our dude. first day there. Two times, actually. So we were in we were in Pulaski, Tennessee. And then we also were in a place called, what was it, Huntsville? When we met that girl, Abby, with her dog. It was Columbia. Or Columbia, somewhere. Like another place in, Al- in Alabama where we like have Alabama. never been to be. In, it was in Alabama. In Tennessee. Oh, oh really? We're horseback riding? No, when we met, when we went to go get the coffee. And Abby met. Uh, that, babe, are you fucking, you didn't even go to Alabama. What are you talking about? You're telling me I filled out that little thing in my map and I haven't even visited? <laughs> oh, shoot. You did not go to Alabama. I thought it was Alabama. My Babe, bad. it was up towards Nashville. Oh, my god! Damn it. Gosh. But, yeah, but like we're on, what I'm trying to get to is, like, we went to these cities that we've never even been to, like, in the middle of, not in the middle of nowhere, but, like, it's pretty far from where we are, and we yeah. got recognized, and that was so yeah. cool, dude. It was awesome. We were driving, and then she pulled up next to us. Um, that was super, super that cool. That was so cool. So we were in Tennessee, but um, there was so much confusion. So let me let me clear some things up. There was a lot of confusion when it came to how my vlogs were, like, one day I was in Tennessee, the next day I was in my parents house and then back in tennessee and then back at my parents house and there's just so much back and forth and the best thing that i can say or the best way that i can explain it is i just th- there has been a lot going on and we just cannot tell you why just yet but in a few more weeks we're going to be able to and i know you guys hate when we say this and i hate it one of the people I do hate, it bro, too. i, I would have never mentioned this i hate it but i we, know it's because a lot of people were telling me like nat weren't you just like how yeah, did you yeah. get here you if know? they don't understand the story then there's no point and then th- people were also getting upset like i didn't visit my family and stuff but like bruh yeah we dodged a bullet and we will let you guys know in a couple in a couple weeks hopefully yeah. fingers crossed fingers crossed so yeah it was just a lot going on and like when you guys saw my vlog, it was like the self-care video. So that was when my mom and Nelly came to surprise me. I had no idea that they were coming. And so they come to Tennessee. They surprise me. They get there. And then I actually ended up flying back with them, which one day you guys are going to be able to see that footage because I vlogged everything. Like anything that you guys are confused about right now, I have the footage. I just can't release it yet. So I actually fly back to california with my mom and nelly like we literally go to the airport at the same time <laughs> jake we bought the flights the day before because it was so last minute i got a call and i had to go back and obviously jake had to go back too but we had no one to take care of the dogs so that's why jake couldn't go yeah just so much but you guys are gonna end up finding out about this super super soon so i fly back okay that's when i filmed the day in my life living at my parents house and then i fly back okay literally we have one that night we pack everything up and then we leave the next day because I literally just went, I flew back to California for like two days to do what I had to do. Flew back. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Jake was already st- kind of starting to pack. I was packing. I was preparing the house to get ready to leave because as soon as Nat comes back, like we have one or two days left there and we're going back to California again. Yeah. So we get back, pack our stuff and then we head out on our giant adventure <laughs> what was crazy is that you came you flew to california came back flew back to california yeah. came back and we drove all the way across the united states again back Dude, to california and it's crazy because they don't even know that chaos like i'm telling you i flew to freaking california for the back to school shopping and then we flew back nelly and my mom arrived two days later okay <laughs> they stay for two days and then we fly back the next day and then i fly back two days after that it was just so much <laughs> yeah it so was, much it, this has been such a hectic summer like the most busy summer that i've ever had in my life yeah to the point where like we were like saying okay we're gonna be gone for the summer and we'll be back in california like whenever like a couple three in three or four dude, months whatever I dude I, me too it went by so fast even you guys mentioned like the summer's already over the traveling's already over and it was just happening a couple weeks ago yeah i quite literally closed my eyes opened them and then it was the end of the summer and it freaking sucks so bad because i just i don't know how to explain okay Let's talk about that. Let's talk about, before we get into the road trip, let's talk about how we feel now. Because obviously the summer has come to an end. We're literally pushing September already. Dude, what well, the summer has come to an end and we're in, we're in France, bro. I thought we weren't traveling anymore. <laughs> yeah, so, oh my God. Dude, okay, so we land, not land. We arrive because we drove. We have like four days and then we fly to France. <laughs> yeah, we were in California for literally three, four days. <laughs> we the, the, the day we landed in california we stayed at nat's parents house yeah after that the next well, the next day we drove back to bakersfield where my family's from spent the day with them yeah drove back home that same night 
and had stayed two days. that night. No, stayed that night, and then the next day I went back to my parents' house because it was the first day of school. Yep, uh-huh. Stayed the night. Went back the next. Dude, it has been crazy, and I'm so excited for you guys to you know be able to hear us ramble about all of this. Um, yeah. So Saturday was my dad's birthday. That's when we arrived in California, and then Sunday we drove to see his parents. Um, literally that morning we woke up, we got our shit, and we went to Bakersfield, and we spent the entire day with your family. It was, it's been such a hectic summer though. Yeah, it has been crazy. But, but how do you feel? I, dude, to be honest, like every little thing, every single little break day that we get that we're really like not filming, we're like, we're just doing like a podcast. It gives me that life again. Like, okay, let's do this again. Let's like, we, we were just chilling one day at the house. I was just playing video games and like catching up on emails and stuff. And then the next day we're flying to France. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm on the roll again. Yeah, it's crazy. I feel like. This summer was, I think, the best summer of my life. Like, it was so much fun because we got to experience... Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. We got to experience so many different lives. So, I feel like a lot of people were telling us that when we were in Tennessee, we didn't really explore like we didn't go out and do things and i totally understand where they're coming from but hear me out that was the entire plan so when i booked the airbnb in tennessee i wanted to book something in the middle of nowhere with nothing around like quite literally rural farm living like that is what i wanted because i wanted to see if we were going to be able to do it right because before we got ourselves into buying a piece of land in the middle of nowhere i was like i you know, we were always talking about like, oh, we're so down to move to Oregon or move to Wyoming and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, that sounds really pretty, but will we actually be able to do it? Because long term, you know, will I be able to not live within, you know, three minutes of Target? Yeah, I think because we're city people now. I don't think we're really retirement life yet. Exactly. We're just, we've been in the city our entire life. So how is that transition going to be, especially not having your family. That's the biggest thing that we were not going to have our families, mm-hmm. you know, and like it, you can't just bring your family like, you know, that's it's not realistic for your family or for my family, like for them to just be flying out to see us. Yeah. That's not a that's not a reality. It's so pricey, dude. It, and it, aside from pricey, people have jobs, mm-hmm. you know, like it just, it's just not a reality. So that was another thing that we had to see was like. We're, well, first of all, my mom and Nelly weren't even supposed to come. So in my brain, we weren't going to see my family for freaking 30 days, whatever. <laughs> that was super cool that they were actually able to come experience Tennessee. But that, initially the plan was like, are we going to be able to be away from our family from the song? So that is why we got that rural farm. And it was literally in the middle of nowhere. Like the, the, we, our neighbors were cows. Like there was nothing. <laughs> it was pretty awesome, actually. Um, but we threw a few variables in there that we shouldn't have like humidity because realistically we would never live somewhere with okay i'm not gonna say that see that no don't never say you're just jinxing us for the future never say never i need to be careful with what i say and put out in the universe no i would really not like to live somewhere with humidity which i had no idea tennessee had humidity if you would have told me that before i probably would have um skipped that state (laughs) but i love nashville nashville was really awesome so whatever and it's really green but it's green because it's so humid and rains every day. When I tell you it rained at least half of the time that we were there, I mean it. And I'm Look not at our 4th of July video. <laughs> the day that's Dude. supposed to explode the earth and then bam, it rains. Can't even yeah. light a fire. And that was not bad, Jake. The rains we had in our farmhouse were like severe rains. You guys saw we caught a lot of rains on camera. Even on our picture, our picture for our post of our announcement of a podcast, like we had rain, a rain, literal. Yeah. What was that with the movie? Oh, the notebook? Yeah. A literal notebook scene. Yeah, it was crazy. So it was raining all the time. So again, these are variables that we threw in that, again, not realistic because if, you know, when when or if we decided to purchase a rural property, I would like to stay to the West. I have decided that I really like the West mm. now that we've seen a bunch of other different states. Yeah, I agree. I really like Missouri. I will never forget Missouri. I really liked it. It was not as humid and it was super, super nice. I won't forget the dead monkey I seen, and some of y'all that lived in St. Louis disagreed with me. I, I promise you I saw a dead <laughs> monkey on the side of the road. Maybe it was the 20 hours of you driving, baby. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Damn, I'll see. Oh, you know what? In Missouri, I got a tick, so maybe I don't like Missouri as much. Speaking, but I also got a bunch of ticks in Nashville. So. Speaking about tick, I got a ticket, and you guys are going to see me <gasps> fight in court about this. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. This can come after, but I'm filming a, I'm filming a fire video. I'm going to hire Jay Yoma. We're going to go back to Tennessee, and I'm going to be... <laughs> The court's, the court's ass. I watch Suits too much, Jake, brother. I don't think he's going to... First of all, if he was willing to fight you on it, he wouldn't have told you 
just show up, like he'll dismiss it. Why would no, he no, tell no. you? No, no, we'll talk about that a little bit. I'm okay, gonna get whatever. on him. Anyway, yeah, Jake got a ticket, but we'll talk about that in a second. What were we talking about? Um, all the, the states. So you said the humidity, yes. the rain, what else? The humidity and the rain is something that I don't think that we would like to have. So I think rain's like a non, you can't even talk about rain because rain's like, it's everywhere, but. Bullshit. Rain, like Tennessee rain versus rain, like Oregon rain, two different kinds of rains. Oregon rain is like cold, okay? <laughs> Tennessee rain was in the middle of nowhere for five minutes, hot. Okay. Okay. Two different things, please. Back me up on this because that it was two different. Key lesson in, in life, boys. Wives ha life's happy, wives happy. I'm not gonna disagree. Wives I'm not happy, gonna life's happy, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I didn't know rain could be different in other places. My bad. The no, cops are babe, angry today and not tomorrow. No, what I'm saying is that, oh, whatever. If you understood, you understood. So that is something that, you know, really affected our mood when that is not something that I, we realistically would. I couldn't go outside to film a video. I had to be inside and I was just tired of being inside. I wanted to go out, but I couldn't. So literally the days you were gone, I was supposed to film and I couldn't film anything outside the house. Oh, and you couldn't vlog because the camera would get fogged up. Oh, the humidity, yeah. Again, see, that's things that we just threw into the mix that aren't, weren't realistic. So now if we remove those things, how do we feel about rural living? It's just a far commute to go to the near city, go to the convenience store and stuff like that. I think it's very different, but I would definitely have to get used to. But with the road trip and then doing a 15 minute commute, it's nothing for me. It's not, yeah. It was nothing. Walmart was 15 minutes away. It's not that big of a deal, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not like getting a little lemon, so I'm not going to be going driving to the nearest big city for that stuff. So mm -hmm. I think it'll be easier for me to do it than you. No, but I was fine. It was fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. I think if the house was ours, right? And it wasn't because the house was a whole other thing. But if the house was ours and our entire life was there and we had activities to do a fucking tractor or something to fuck around in the backyard with, like, you know, all that kind of stuff, it would be different. But yeah, so that is the reason why we didn't really explore Tennessee was because we wanted to get a taste of what this life would be like to see if it is something that we were willing to do pretty much, um, which yeah, we're kind of just like all over the place with that. Um, obviously, you guys know that we in September next month where it's going to be two years that we purchased our town home. That's a. How am I? It doesn't even feel like we've been there for two years. I know. I love that place. Are you sure it's two years? Yeah, babe. I swear it's like three. No, we've had two Christmases in the house. The Christmas with the Christmas tree God, in front yeah. of the mirror and mm. then the one in the corner. This is going to be our third Christmas there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, do you guys like, do you guys get shocked seeing us grow and like going from place to place from place to place? I want to like, because whenever I was younger, yeah. I would see people. I don't know. I don't really remember like seeing like the YouTubers I used to watch go from house to house. I think. YouTubers I used to watch were already like crazy big and they had the big house, the final really? house. Really? I used wanted. to watch the Ace family all the time. And they remember they were moving from house to house? I didn't watch them, but I, I yeah. knew that they were moving from house to house. Yeah. I it's really weird because I think a lot of people are always like, oh, I used to watch you since you were in your parents' house and all that stuff. And it, I can't even imagine how weird. Because it's weird for me, right? Because like every single time, my life changes every single day. And every year we're in a completely different place in our lives. So it is very, very different for me. I can't even imagine for them. Um, but yeah, we basically have come back home and it felt really good to go home we were for the three days that we were there it felt really really it felt good yeah really good Jake. i was so i don't know I, I got like an addiction of playing the video games again so I, as soon as i got home like i cleaned did the laundry hopped on video games but then at the same time i was like this is a waste of my time so i wanted <gasps> to sell you it you played when did you play at night every time you fell asleep yeah, so I, I wanted to sell my PC. So if you're interested in a PC, I'm not really. First of all, me and Nelly are buying them. Thank you. Do not sell your PC. How much are you buying them for? For free 99. Okay, Thank if you, you. If you have a higher offer than free 99, let me know <laughs> in my Instagram. Bro. It's because long story short, me and Nelly are thinking about starting a gaming channel. Just That'll a be so Minecraft cool. channel. Even if we get like two viewers, dude, you know how cool it'd be to just like hop on and like make a Minecraft world and like people could, maybe we could even make the um, server public and everybody could have like their own little hey, like factions. So I have an cool. idea. I'll be an investor. I'll give you the, my, my PC setup. In return, I get 5% of the revenue. Of the Minecraft world revenue? Yep. And sponsors, I get 10%. Got deal, deal, or you don't have a computer, brother. That's a deal with Nelly. I got a computer. Thank you. You're gonna take five percent of her cut, not of my cut. <laughs> She's gonna have to give it to you. <laughs> we're thinking about doing it, but we're just gonna see. I don't know because I would love to do it. And dude, Nelly brings out the inner child in me. Like Nelly keeps <laughs> me young. It's so bad, dude. Like when they're together, it's the worst combo because you have. It's not Nat anymore. Like not the professional Nat. It's like the cracked out <laughs> sibling Nat. 
and it's it's such funny like I don't know, it's a different person. It's so funny that when I, I see that side get brought out of you. But yeah. it's so She gives different. me the zoomies. That's what it is. She gives you the zoomies. And then, yeah. Nat, I mean, even Nelly, like, sees Nat. She's like, are you okay? <laughs> Nelly's, like, on a calmer level. And Nat's still cracked out. In our latest Jadley video, you guys are going to see, like, Nelly's trying, I mean, Nat's trying to hype up uh, Nelly. And Nelly's just like, yeah, but Nelly was in a bad mood. Nelly was in a bad mood, but usually, like, Nelly's just, like, she matches my energy. I don't she, know how to explain to you. It's because you guys are both on the same TikTok page, so everything that you guys reference in your brain comes out the same thing. Like, you go, oi, oi, and then she goes, oi, 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 It's oi, just oi. because, I don't know how to explain it, but she's just, I think we're really similar. Like, for example, Nelly's a fish, just like me. Like, Nelly loves to I, swim and, like, play mermaid. Like, that's. And she's also a sponge. Whenever you tell her information, she, like, uh, uh, consumes it. Yeah, she becomes a mini me really mm. fast. Yeah, you guys need to hang out so much off, like more often, dude. You're you're you could... already trying to cut us apart. By okay, the way, listen, Jacob listen. gets so upset whenever I call because I'll call it. Oh, I call Nelly at three a.m. because basically our time difference from France to you guys back in the U.S. not you guys California, right? Like right now, it's nine hour difference. So whenever it's tw uh, like. Well, whenever it's 3 a.m., it's like 8 p.m. for them, I believe. So right now it's 8.53 for us, and it's 11.53 a.m. for them. Okay, so basically, if you do the math, Nat goes to bed at 9, okay, which means that I go to sleep by 11 a.m. their time. So by the time that I wake up in the morning, like 4 or 5 a.m., because our clocks are just messed up, that's only like 7 p.m. for you guys. So that's when I get to talk to Nelly. I don't get to talk to her in the morning. Anyway, I called her this morning, and we were like yapping like loud and i just forgot the time that it was and jake was so upset dude it was 3 a.m in this hotel and i guarantee you every one of those neighbors woke up in the morning trying to find out who it's the loudest neighbor was bro nelly's so funny bro. yeah she yeah you guys are so funny together she's though. so funny anyway yeah i think you know what's crazy i was just thinking about this the other day i um i feel like me and nelly became a became so much closer now because we didn't have an opportunity to be close when we lived together. I moved out when Nelly had just stopped being a prick. Like that year, I, I think I only had one good year with Nelly. If that. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just like one good year with her, of her being like, we were able to like do things together and like she wouldn't snitch and we would like, I'm not going to say what we would do because my mom or my dad can find out, but then Nelly's still living with them, but we would like do things together and like we would keep each other's secrets. <laughs> like that, that she became a non prick like that last year. And then I left. So I didn't really get to experience a lot of um, things with Nelly. Those are the fun moments, right? The ones that you're like, damn, she actually wasn't that bad. Now that I think about it. Yeah. I'm like, when did I have that realization? That little kid realization? I don't know, <laughs> but now she's in her cool era and now she's just more like me because she's older. So it's just, yeah, it's great. Anyway, moving on from that, we're going to talk about Jake's speeding ticket that he got. Okay, so yeah, so on our way back home from Tennessee, we're going through like little cities, right? So we're on a highway and this highway leads into small little cities and it's my first time going on this highway. Like I haven't even seen what this route's going to look like. So I'm on the highway. The highway speed, li speed limit is like 55 going, right? And then as soon as you enter the cities, it has one traffic light. The traffic light has like a little speed limit that says 45. So I'm like, okay, I'm going 45. I'm, I'm going 45 now. That's my, in my head. And I'm going. And wait, I'm, wait, wait. Tell them how long the drive is so that they can understand dude, why okay. your head is programmed this way. Bro, the drive is probably like 20 something hours and I'm already on hour it's four or five. It's not 20 something, babe. We did a total of 29 hours. Okay, yeah. The drive is 29 hours and I'm already on um, hour four or five, right? So I'm like, all right, my my head space is like drive, just drive, make sure I don't get in a car accident and I'm going the speed limit. So the last speed limit I've seen is 45, right? And we're doing a curve. I'm um, going through these little small cities. And as soon as I'm curving, right, I see a little sign on the right side that says new speed limit. It says 30. It goes drastically from 45 to 30. And 35. My, 30, 35, whatever. No, it was a 30 because I got wrote for 35. You got wrote for 47 and it was 12 over. 18 over, brother. <laughs> yeah, 18 over. That's why Jake, I'm calling Jay Yoma. You better beat that. Bro, call me Tay K because I'm about to beat that case. Okay, anyways, anyways, yeah. So I'm driving right, and it's a curve. And as soon as I we're curving, I see the speed limit sign that says 30. It's a new speed limit sign. Barely. Just started right now in my head. And on the curve, I'm curving, Then and there's a cop on the other side. I can't see yet. And we're curving at the same time. And I'm going 47 because I thought the speed limit was 45. We're curving, and as soon as we pass each other, I'm like, hold up. What is my speed? Because I literally the sign was just there. And I'm, slow, I'm starting to slow down already. And he caught me going 47 in the 30, a 30. So 17 over, 18 over, whatever. And as soon as I seen him, I already started switching lanes. I'm like, all right, I'm getting pulled over for sure. I already know. 
But I failed to mention, literally like 45 minutes before this, I got pulled over for the exact same reason. <laughs> another little, like another um, traffic light, change of uh, change of speed limit, and then like drastic change of speed limit, right? And then the cop pulled me over. And he just told me like, yeah, it changes quick. Uh, just be careful uh, whenever you're driving in the future. And I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to remember this. But bro, I'm, in, I'm just in my headspace. Look, I got to get to my next destination. And I'm just driving carefully. But yeah, that cop, the first cop pulled me over. He let me off. He let me off, right? 45 minutes later, I get pulled over by the other guy. And dude, I, I'm pulling over already before he even puts the sirens on. I see him in my rear view mirror turning, uh, turning left. So I'm like, dude, he's going to pop a U-turn. He pops a U-turn. I'm already pulling into the car wash. That's the nearest like pullover station. It's a little car wash. I'm already pulling over. And he follows behind me, puts his lights on. And we literally parked before he pulls me over. So I'm like, damn, dude, I knew from the beginning. And then he pulls me over. Yeah, he's like, uh, he comes to the window. He's like, you know, I, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, yeah, I was trying to comply and be like the coolest person ever because if you're cool with the cop, brother, the cop's going to be cool to you. That's what happened in the first place in the other cop. I was really cool, put my keys on top of my nah, head babe, I think you everything. have that mentality, and it's, it's really nice of you to have that mentality, but unfortunately, it, it's just like not every but, cop is cool. But this is what I found out. Like, I found out the reason why I got pulled over two times is because they have like a little um, – a route the police the police officers have a route so they cur they come in constantly uh what is it like they traffic the little curves on purpose because that's where people speed the most especially if you're new like if you're never if you haven't even been in the state before that's what i was doing and since i'm a california resident he's seen my, from my plate he's like oh this guy's probably never gonna come to tennessee to fight the court i mean fight the case so i'm not gonna have to show up to court and he's just gonna pay online and get the points whatever little does he know not bullshit because the guy told him he said, bro, just fight it um, and the judge will drop it. That's what the cop said. He said, bro, fight it and he's going to drop it. So it's like, so then why did you give him the ticket? Like, I get it. You need the tickets for the end of the month. Like, I totally get it. Everybody has to hustle. But at the same time, that was really messed up. I'm all for like the law and USA, but that is fucked up. Because but it wasn't even the, the end of the month. Frame, it was the beginning of the month. I know that was really weird. But the time frame that they give you to slow down is non-existent. And it's funny. I have it on camera. In the new vlog, you guys are going to be able to see it. Yeah. It is non-existent. So they're just camping you. They're camping you there and they're waiting to catch you. Like, And it's not like you were going. Let's say, for example, it was 45, right? And you were going like 60, right? Then, okay, I can see what. But you were going 47. Okay, that cop clearly knew you were trying to do the 45 speed limit. That was a second before. Mm -hmm. So it's just messed up. It's a really messed up thing. And it sucks that it's like that. But the cop knows damn well, like, you know, if he goes and tries to fight, the, I'm not going to like the cop's not going to show up. Like he knows damn well he's not going to show up. So it's like he just wants to give it out his ticket. I feel like there's like a little chance that the cop might pull up because he told me like if if uh, I want to know how many points it is, just call this administrator on the number. And if I, I feel like if I call that administrator, the guy, the guy that I call is going to tell the officer like, oh, he's calling to find out blah, 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 blah. You really then, think the cop is like I trying to screw you like that? Heck yeah, bro. Why would he tell you that then? Like, go to court, he's going to drop it. It wasn't just a normal cop. I think it was like the state trooper or something, right? Because he had a hat on. I don't know. Those are like, the, those are the mean ones, bro. He wasn't mean. He was just like. He was mean. He, he wasn't was, mean. Yeah, I think he was. He was not. Jake, he came up to your window and you said, oh, I was speeding. Like, what did yeah, you I expect him? Yeah, I was trying to comply. Him? Did you expect him to not give you a ticket after you literally confessed to you speeding? Like, yeah, come on now. Yeah, bro. I, I watched too many videos of when the people lie and they dig themselves in well, a deeper hole. Well, you clearly hole. didn't watch enough. You literally told, oh, yeah, I was speeding. I should have said. I was speeding. <laughs> I should have said, let me talk to your uh, your sergeant or something. No, you should have just not said anything. When he told you, like, do you know why I pulled you over? I don't know. You know, I really don't know. And then if he told you speeding, then okay, you know. Just like that last time, that other girl that you, you've been pulled over three times. That last time, that other girl also, oh, and a time after that too. You've been let go way too many times. I've been pulled over four times. And I got let go all three times except the last one, this last you one that I You see, you're too confident being nice to these cops, but, but they're not know, all nice. They call me take K for a reason, bruh. I hope you win that because you're getting off of my damn insurance if you don't beat that damn case. That's all I'm saying, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what happened. Like, it was literally a drastic change of uh, speed limits. And then the cop, see, the cop and me collide at the same exact time. And I was like, damn. So, yeah, I got a ticket for going 17 or 18 over. And I'm fighting against him in court. And you'll, you'll see that vlog coming very soon. No, 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 babe. And after that okay so this happened within the first like three hours of our 29 hour trip okay the first three hours so for the next 
bajillion hours, Jacob went the speed limit the entire time. And when I tell you the freeway is 65 miles per hour, he was going 67. I mean it. Dude. We were getting, everyone was going around us. Everyone was going like 80, 85. I swear. They were zooming uh, fastest. And was so I was mad because no cop would get them pulled over. And then I was in a fast track lane one time uh, during this drive. I was in a fast track lane. We're almost at home. And there's a cop behind me. and uh, Or he's like a couple cars behind me. And the car on the right lane merges into the fast track lane without it being a dotted line. So it's two solid lines. Yeah. The car merges into the fast track lane. And I'm like, let's go. Because I know the cop's seen it for a fact. <laughs> That's so I was, mean. But I don't. I got it too. If I'm going to get fucked up, you're going to get fucked up. So I was like, I was, <laughs> I was jumping up. I was like, nah, look it, look it, look it. Nah, look it. And then the cop comes around. Pull, goes in front of me kind of like passes me because it, it ends up going into a, two fast track lanes. He goes around me. Goes in front of me and he's following the car, but the car, literally, the cop just went out outside the lane, and I was like, "Ain't no way that cop didn't pull mm. this guy over for yeah. merging in the double lanes," and I got Jake, pulled over in Tennessee. It's literally dude. because the guys in Tennessee were camping and they're there to catch people in like doing that, right? It's oh, a normal. Man. It's annoying were, though. I know if you were to be going like 76, 77 on the highway, you were not going to get pulled over. But those cops are there for that reason. It's funny because you'll see them lined up every single little city. Like oh, they're yeah, just yeah. hiding. Every little city that we passed after that because the cities kept like doing the same little yeah. routine. There was cops coming around yeah. the curve, coming around the curve. Or you see one they're hiding. posted up on the corner. Yeah, they're hiding. And I was like, yeah. I got trapped, dude. Yeah. You but, know what though? I don't. I do feel bad for you because I was really fucked up. But at the same time, you got let go with the warning. I know, and you dude. Did I should have again. I should have just like just remembered that I got let go. I'm I'm very lucky. I don't have a ticket. You won't just, forget anymore though. I promise that's you, you will I'm, never see me going over the speed babe, limit anymore. That's why I'm kind of glad you got that ticket because you never listen. And hopefully, this gave you like a good little like ding on pay the fuck attention uh -huh. because if it was like a few over the speed limit, but 18, Jake. You know why it was 18, dude. It changed. Yeah, I understand. I know. I understand. But, like, that's a really big amount, and you're going to get real screwed with everything. Your points on your license, your insurance. Like, you better fight that. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much that lawyer costs you, Jake. You better beat that damn case. I don't think it's going to be that hard just because, again, it's really fucked up. And it's up. my first violation. Do you even know where it happened, though? Like, I feel so like if I'm you guys gonna, could prove. I'm going to do the route thing on the map, so I'm going to pretend like I'm going back from wherever we started and going to our house and I'm going to find the route and find exactly what the speed limit was when it changed and where I got pulled over from because I turned into a gas station. I mean, a little car wash. Babe, you don't even know how to get around the house. How are you going to find the exact spot that you got pulled over at? I'm going to let you slide because you didn't drive one minute of this road trip. <laughs> all right. All right, pretty girl. I just have to. I just have to fuck around. Sorry. Yeah, you're anyway, fine. Jake drove the entire 29 out. It was not. So it was 29 hours the entire trip. It's because we did a few stops. But Jake did it all by himself, bro. I got in that passenger side. I got my mac and cheese cup, my when, little binky. When I get my pilot's license, I'm setting that up. I'm driving. I'm flying. Never mind. Actually, the FAA is not going to like this. Never mind. Don't say that. Never mind. Never mind. I got my binky, and I was watching Suits. And then Jake drove the whole time. Dude, like, I, there's very... Few, okay, this is funny because this is what I mean by trust the process. At the beginning of our relationship, you guys know, I was driving Jake everywhere. Like, I <laughs> had to drive us all around because Jake didn't know how to drive. And then Jake didn't have a car. And it was <laughs> just like, you know, I was very much in my masculine dominant era. And I was like, one day this is going to be different. Like, I just have to trust the process. You know, like, he's young, blah, 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 blah. Right? Then he gets his car. And then I had to be in the car fighting for my life because this man was world's worst driver, okay? It was anxiety times a thousand in the car. And I was like, one day he's going to know. Like, you don't understand the amount of things. I'm not even going to talk to you guys about the things that we went through. But it was too much, okay? <laughs> it was like getting lost every corner. Like, just the craziest things. And then now where I can get in the car and go to sleep and know that he's going to get me home, bro. Like, you know, no how matter what time it is. I remember one time I drove you home from a club and uh, it was like 4 a.m. And we had like an hour and a half drive and I drove you home safely. Yeah. And I did. The, I woke up. If anything, I woke up earlier than you that day. Mm -hmm. I was probably almost at 24 hours being awake mm -hmm. and I drove you home safe. Remember? Yeah. So that's like it's crazy because now look at where we are. That's why you have to invest in a <laughs> man, bro. Trust me. Inve like find a man. <laughs> no, I definitely think I definitely think you pack a punch to me. Yeah, I did. Because look, you need to find a man who has the qualities that you cannot change, okay? And that's like a really nice man. Um, 
a oh. loving man, a man a, that only has eyes for you. A tall man. A tall man. Um, that kind of stuff, right? These are qualities that you cannot change, okay? You want to make sure that those qualities, loyalty, you can't change that. So you want to make sure that you have these qualities in a man. Things like looks, you could change. Things like not knowing how to drive, not having money. Like, we could change these things, okay? Like, you just need to focus on the core, core, um, what is it? The core, the morals, the, the core, what is that called? The like, traits. Yeah, the, the traits you just can't change, okay? This is what I mean. Like, and then once you find that man, things will get better, bro. Trust. Like, I'm so glad that now, whenever it's driving, it's just like, you got it. And just it's like, so good. It's like, think of it like this. It's like a gun on Call of Duty, right? You have the gun. You got the base, the fundamentals and everything. Why are you using now, the G word? Do you want to get us censored? You got the... You got the rifle. You got the everything like oh set in stone. God. Listen, listen, listen. The R word? You could say the R word. Are you sure yes. you could say the R word? Okay. Yes, because you could say that in school for the color guard. All right. You got the rifle. All you got to do is wait for you to unlock all the attachments. All the attachments. It takes a little bit of time to level up. But as soon as you level up, bro, the attachments are there. You can add them onto the man, you know? Yeah. No, really. And that goes the same for a girl, too. Like, if whatever i just said applies to the girl like if she does not have these um cooking and cleaning traits jacob no Shit. those are the traits that you can change welcome cooking, back to the canceled podcast the <laughs> cooking the cleaning like that that's things you could change but like it's that internal because oh i'm not gonna say that anyway i feel like being in france has made me a changed woman do you want to know why why natalie <laughs> tell me why because I am just loving, loving the cl- class, <laughs> the classy looks, the dude. These people bougie are on, dinners. These people are on a different level. Yeah, like everyone dresses so nice. No matter how much money you have here, the fashion is literally like top tier. Yeah, it's really not even about like the money if of you, the stuff. If you didn't see earlier, I got Birkenstocks on, brother. You would with have no never socks. Se- well, you would have never seen me with these in the US. I had to fit in. Yeah. It's crazy because a lot of the pieces, obviously there's a lot of people that have a lot of money and the pieces that they're wearing are very, very pricey, but there is also a lot of people who are wearing you could tell that the pieces are like Shein, but they look so good because it's just like the styles that they pick. It's it's not even about the money or the quality of the clothes. It's what you pick, right? Like a crop top from two different places is the same thing right it's gonna look the same when it's on but when you purchase these pieces like the coats and like it's just crazy to see how bougie it is. but okay what do you think about french people being rude oh my gosh dude if you're french and you're watching this i love you we oui, we oui, but we oui, we oui have been like stared down outside every time we bring a camera out dude we're just getting stared not at even like, that jake remember the girl at they're the spa? plotting on us the girl at the spa and she's like are you guys supposed to be here dude we pull up to the spa <laughs> and the girl comes up to us and i was like oh can i grab a towel and she was like you have a towel like i think she meant like on the lounge chairs on that side i was like oh, okay she's like are you guys supposed to be here and I was like, <laughs> dude it, we were speaking english to begin with that's why i feel like that's a big reason what do you mean? The other people in there were also speaking English? No, everyone was speaking French. Okay, whatever. But we're at a hotel in a touristy part in Nice. Like, be for real. And she was like, are you guys supposed to be here? And I was like, yeah, we're waiting for our room. And she was like, what's your hotel room number? And I was like, we're waiting for our room. Like, we didn't have a number, which that kind of made us look sus. Yeah, because we're waiting that, to check in. Yeah, but, that, yeah. And I was like, yeah, we're waiting for her. She's like, okay, well, what's your name? And then she like searched me up. First of all, my name was like on the first page and she didn't even see it. And she was like skipping through that. I was like, <laughs> brother, I thought we were going to get a big gift from the pool. And then she asked everyone around the pool for drinks except us. Except and us. I was like, <laughs> that hurt my feelings I wasn't going to order anything regardless. But the fact that she didn't even ask, I was like, damn, what did I do to you? Yeah, everyone in the, there was three other people, three other couples in the pool. And she went to every <laughs> single 
one and gave them a menu and completely ignored us. And I was in the pool, but Jake was sitting in the lounge chairs. And I saw her just go around. Like, it like, could have been the fact that we didn't have a room number and she couldn't charge the room. But at the same time, we have our credit cards on us and stuff. Like, Yeah, that's not a good enough excuse because there was a restaurant on the other side and they were giving their credit cards. Yeah. I don't know. It was just like really weird. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, I wasn't going to get anything. But, but. Hey, we should go back up there tomorrow and see what happens. She probably still won't. That was so mean. <laughs> Yeah. That was so mean. Remember, this is the reason why we stopped traveling internationally was uh-huh. because of this reason. And then not only that, but there was also another French, uh, a French group of girls that were oh. eating at the restaurant, right? And they were just mugging us the entire time. Like, it's like whenever brought we would up the speak, camera. not only that, but whenever we would speak, dude, they were just like, like giving us a stink yeah. face. Like, and I was like, damn, bro. And then they asked me to take a picture of them. So oh like, my. girl. <laughs> no, they asked you to move. And then they asked you to take a picture of them. Remember, you're in the last chair, and then they're like, Yeah, they told me to move. And then she said something, something, and then she pointed it at her phone. So I figured it was a picture. So I ended up taking it because I'm not mean. But that was so this, rude. I think this traveling experience changed us, though, because this, this is like a country that we've been to that doesn't really speak English, or let alone, like, it's not a language. Their home language is not a language we're familiar with. It's not like, I guess, Portuguese, where we can kind of get the dialect a little bit similar to Spanish. We can, like, try to piece out the words and stuff. The French, bro. And some things are like, oh um, what is it? Pan de chocolate? Oh, Wait. oh no, it's pan, 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 pan de chocolate, chocolate. I don't know. I don't know. It's that's like a chocolate, chocolate piece croissant, of bread, yeah. all right? That shit is gas, and I just know how to say that, and that's it. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy because I feel like when we first traveled internationally, which was Aruba, right? We were so, like, we were like, we're never traveling internationally again because people were really mean to us back then, too. I think It's just because we look young. Um, people were really mean to us. And for that reason, like literally for that reason, I brought out my in retirement Louis Vuitton duffel bag, right? Because I was like, I don't want people. Oh, you guys, oh, <laughs> they up can't there, see they it. can't see it though. Okay, it was. I have not used that bag. I think since Aruba. Yeah, that's. I bought uh-huh. it in Aruba and I didn't use it since Aruba. that was like three years ago. I don't use it because it really does suck to travel with. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, it's the worst bag. Don't buy. If you're listening to this, don't buy. Full, if you're gonna buy it like resale, that's fine. I would buy it resale too, but I don't know about full price because. A, it gets dirty, and B, it just kind of Full sucks price is like $4,000, yeah. right? Yeah. No, don't buy it for that um, amount. Anyway, I was like, I'm going to bring it out of retirement to bring it to France because, like, everybody out there has money, like, and I don't want to be, like, treated like we're little kids. So I was like, if I bring nice things, people are going to think, okay, well, they're rich little kids, you know? Like, I don't have to be rude. Didn't work, obviously. And remember at the airport, the the influencer girls? Oh my gosh! Yes, I do. Don't they know. had to be French too. There's no way. No, I. They were speaking English. No, they weren't, babe. Really? I thought they were. No, no, they weren't. Okay, so there was these other Morty. There was these other girls at the airport, um, who I think thought that we were cutting them. That's for sure what they thought, Jake. Probably. But that wasn't what had happened. It was because the line was formed coming this way, right? But they to started board, to board onto the plane. To board onto the plane, but they were started a line this way now i don't know who came first because we were not the ones tied like next to them does that make sense like there was people in front of us that were that created this line we were just part of the line and they were just part of the other line so when we met in the middle right they probably thought like oh these bitches are cutting us but we were actually standing in line for forever waiting in that line right does that make sense so They were like not letting us. So when the lines were merging, they were not letting us. Like imagine that car that like doesn't let you merge in when like. You're you're driving. Yeah, when you're, no, when you're at the end, like if you don't merge, like you basically hit the wall. Like that was the vibe because there was nowhere for us to go anymore, but they weren't letting us in. And we're like, oh my gosh, like what? And I knew for a fact that they thought we were cutting them because the guy was like really pushing forward. And so was the girl. Mm -hmm. And the girl would look back at the other, cause it was two couples. The girl would look back at the other girl. And I was like, Oh, they're for sure. Thing. And like, if you really think I'm cut, like, I don't care that much, by the way, they were at the back of first class. So it's like, first of all, you didn't, then it was an inconvenience because they weren't getting in their seats to where the rest of the people had to go to the front. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro. They, they were taking forever to load up their stuff and everything. And they were the last seat. By the way, that doesn't matter. You all pay the same price. But what I'm saying is that they were like the last first class seat. So the people who were in the front had to go past, past them, them. Go Does around that make sense? them. And the, the, like the, the little, oh shoot. The little walkways for the airplane are very small. So it's only like yeah. one person per 
I don't know. It's only one person. Only can, one person can be in the middle. Yeah, only one person can be in the middle and pack their stuff, and then they, once they sit, someone else can pass by. Someone, yes. But they were holding up the line pretty much. Yeah, and so I was like, oh, but and I saw them doing. Um, I saw her record a video, so I was like, oh, she's a TikToker. And then <laughs> I was like, cool. maybe I was like, maybe she saw my camera, and that's what they were talking about. Because I I saw that they were ta- like speaking about something about us because they kept looking back at us. Because at this point, so when they went in, right when her whole party or their whole party went through, then we merged in behind them. Because I'm not gonna fight you about going. Like if you really think I'm cutting you, I'm just gonna go behind you. It's really not that big of a deal. We're going to the same place. So we went behind them, and they had freaking Louis Vuitton duffels and like base luggage and all this stuff. And I was like, these bitches are rich. <laughs> and the guy had like she had a roll. Like was it a roll? I don't know what she had, but the guy the the guy had like a Royal Oak AP, I believe. It was pretty a pretty expensive watch. Yeah, and then they had um he had a nice bag. And nice shoes. I don't know. I'm just very like visual. Like I'll notice little things like that. So yeah. Anyway, anyone who's on that, everyone who's on the freaking plane, bro, like had the Louis duffel. I was like, bro, bless up. I brought mine, you know, like this is perfect. But no, it still didn't work. <laughs> dude. But yeah, that was like a little, a little inside of our flight. But dude, our flight was so easy. Now I just yeah. fell asleep, woke up, woke up. Breakfast, they missed me. They didn't even wake me up for breakfast, but I was so happy because every time they offered uh, food, I would eat it, and my stomach was just bloating up and bloating up. But Nah, I got breakfast, bro. I got some Greek yogurt with some fresh cup fruit. of coffee, fruit, oh, granola. It was like a salted caramel granola. It was so freaking good. I love, I heart American Airlines. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but yeah, so the update is we are here in Nice, France. We are going to be going to Monaco. We are going to be exploring Today we had a tour, so we woke up at 4 a.m. because we couldn't go to sleep. Yeah. And well, I've been up. I was up since three. Me and I were on the phone call since 3 a.m. Yeah. Okay. So she was up since three. I was up since four. And dude, we have been up grinding all day. So the video that Nat has been filming is it day one of your vlog, your, your France vlog. Um. Yeah, it's day one. It's like the travel one. Dude, it is an insane video. Like the views, everything we've seen today. This place has so many great, great lakes, blue lakes. Like, yeah. it looks like Banff, Canada. It, that's what the vibe that I was getting. I was like, ooh, this is giving me Banff. Not that we've ever been to Banff, but, but I would I've seen pictures. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that's what Banff looks like. And France, okay, nobody could have prepared me for this. Nobody. There is nobody in this world who would have prepared me for the beauty of France. Oh, I thought you were going to say something crazier. No, I I just thought you were going to say something crazy. Oh, no, the beauty of this place. It is like the French villages is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen before. And it's like it gives a little bit of Spanish with how do I explain a French style? It kind of looks Spanish, but less like dark red colors. It's just European. It's a European vibe. Oh, I had never seen it before, so I was really thrown back by it. But it, you know what it kind of looked like? A little bit of New Mexico. Oh, we love New Mexico. We're New Mexico stands. We love that place. <laughs> we drove by it and we were obsessed. Uh, yeah, we do. We did like 20,000 loops around like a certain neighborhood that was like very vintage and like old. Bruh. Beautiful. Anyways, our battery died, so we had to do a little quick battery swap. But we're back. We're back. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about the fact that there's no ice here? Oh, my gosh. So Nat's been struggling so much with her coffees. Like the coffees are too strong for her. But not let alone that, dude. There's no ice. Like the beverages they serve here, it's true. Whatever by they the say way, about Europe is true. By the way, don't you dare say they're too strong for me, okay? I've had two coffees, and the first one tasted like the <laughs> most watered down Seven Eleven cup of coffee, and then the second one was like a quad shot with a splash of milk, no ice. Okay. Hey, hey, let's not talk about the cons of France. I think the pros are better. No, no, but I just, can we just talk about the no ice? Because if you've ever heard about that, please believe it. There is no ice in France. Yeah, they don't really put the beverages filled filled with ice. They put like, they don't have ice lattes. It's very rare. It's very, very rare. And then the beverages, like the, the water is not served with ice. It's just like, they fill it up, the little tin with uh water, they place it and then like, that's it. There's no, it's, it's kind of cold, but it's cold from the faucet. Um, your Capri Suns don't have plastic straws. They're paper straws. No way. Are you? Oh, my. I'm all for save the environment. Nah, fuck this. Give me a sip lid. Look at this. I can't even put it in. Yeah, I'm all for <laughs> save the <laughs> environment. But said. earlier, we had a milkshake, and, like, I wasn't even halfway through with it. And I was just, like, <laughs> making out with the straw. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. They suck, dude. They suck so bad. <laughs> dude, I was literally making out with the straw. I was like, oh. 
<laughs> you really did not have to do all what? that. You really? Then, can you guys go back 30 seconds to where you didn't see that? And then I flipped this straw over and I couldn't sip nothing out. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. So I used my wood spoon and <laughs> I had to eat yeah, the Yeah, no, shake. they're so bad. Paper straws are world's worst creation. I'm trying at to least, figure out. They should at least make the ones that are edible. The edible straws, you know? Oh, yeah, those are yummy. Mm-hmm. And, and those last, last longer. Long. Yeah, those are good. Or just, at, like, for example, I'm trying to figure out how you could even put a sip lid on this. I'm sure some genius can come up with it. But this sucks. The, I can't even use the straw. I'm not even halfway done with my drink. <laughs> um, yeah, so many differences um, that we had no idea about. I, first of all, now I know the difference between Europe, UK, and all the places inside of it. Okay, okay what's the differences between Europe and okay. UK? UK is the places that speak English, hence London, England, that those kinds of things. And what's Europe? Europe is the countries in this part of the world. So, like, <laughs> listen, it's going to be, listen, it's going to be France. It's going to be um, Switzerland. It's going to be, like, Netherlands. It's going to be all those places. I wonder, is Italy and Spain part of that? Yeah, right, because they're on the same continent. So, yeah. Are you are you okay, Jacob? Yes, it is, bro. Natalie, Jacob. the UK is in Europe. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I know the difference between Europe and the UK. Jake, no, it's not, bro. Then why does it? Oh then my why is it two gosh. different things? I swear, every time we've talked about geology, you suck a fuck. It's two different places my- divided by the sea. My bad. Two Ho- different places. Hawaii and the freaking United States. Two different are- places, buddy. Two different islands. Two different continents. It's a part of our country. Doesn't matter. It's, it's not on the same island. Look, there's a river. The river is divided. <laughs> Look at it. Natalie, just because they're not connected doesn't mean that they're not part of okay, the same Okay, so continent. maybe they're Europe, okay? But the point is that it's two different places. That's what I was trying to get to. Wait, so you're... <laughs> So the Europe, <laughs> so UK is technically Europe. So we say I'm going yes. to Europe, bro. The Euro, the UK was the like Europe. The, you just made fun of me for that. No, the UK was literally like the ones that freaking colonized everyone. The UK, yeah, but I'm they're smaller. Sure. Doesn't matter. Okay, you should have seen the kings and queens okay. back then. They were slang shit, babe. I, so do you understand what I was trying to say now? No, I don't understand what you're trying to say. You could have said it in a different way, and I wouldn't have understand you, but. What, bro? See? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I said London, Scotland. I didn't say Scotland, but you know what I meant. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I was right, basically. You just said the UK, and then you started naming random-ass countries in I said other Europe. parts of Europe. I said Europe has all the other ones, which now I understand. But you know what's also crazy? Don't, don't, you have one chance to I'm not just, fuck this up. What else is not crazy? I'm not going to say <laughs> No, but in my brain, that made sense. Like, the UK is up here. Why? Does I know, the you UK- have like a fourth grader geology brain. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys know that switzerland is next to france girl if somebody would have told me that i would have gone straight from here to switzerland but i didn't know so i didn't have time to plan geneva here we come what's that geneva who's the, that the beautiful city with the big ass lake is that in switzerland did you think it was a girl or what no i was babe where is that a little a little north yeah six I, hour train okay ride. so let me give you guys some facts not geology facts, because we've crossed that bridge already. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Did I tell you that I like failed every single geology te- ge- geography test in school? Wait, every wait. single one. What's geology and what's geography? Did I fuck up too? Geography is like maps. Okay, what's geology? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, I failed every single test, Jake, and I I'm could talking. Tell. <laughs> I could tell. And I'm talking about like from elementary to high school, bro. Like every single one. Because I remember vividly when we were like learning the map. I remember it vividly. And I did not pay attention. It was like a whole year of my life. And I did not pay attention. It was in elementary school. Or it might have been middle school. No, it was elementary school. And <laughs> I just completely missed it. And because I missed that, I was lost for the rest of my life. <laughs> like if you miss one thing that important, you're lost for the rest of your life. So yeah, I never understood it. I started to understand it now that I'm like a big girl now and I start to see where things are at. Like now I could tell you where states are, right? Because now I've been to the... If I wouldn't have been to any other state, I would have had no idea where these states are at. No clue. I didn't even know. I didn't know Missouri was a thing. What, your mom, like what your mom said the other day, she's like talking about, I forgot what. 
I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, but cut her some slack. She's not from here. Okay, what did she, she say? She was though? saying she thought Nashville was a state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're talking about like we were in Tennessee, and then she's like, "Well, where's Nashville?" <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't, and I was like, "No, mom, that's like Los Angeles and California <laughs> is the same thing." But yeah, anyway, na- so I didn't like learn any of that. So now we're really backed up. What were we? Th- what were we gonna get to? We're talking about how you. You knew something crazy about the UK yes. and Europe. No. So basically our tour guide that we had for today's tour was a super, super, super cool guy. And we're going to give you guys his life story. And I hope he never watches this podcast. He's probably going to be our tour guide in a couple of days. Yeah. Dude, I wanted to ask him to be on the podcast so Me badly, too. Jake. Like he would be hey, the ultimate host. On Saturday, if we see him, we'll, we'll, we'll tell him. Hop on the pod. Do we have an extra mic? No, but he he can use mine and I'll share yours. Okay. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> shut the fuck up the whole time. Dude, he was just like such a interesting person. I love interesting people. And this is why I can't stop traveling because I want to be interesting to like one one day when I'm old. <gasps> Not Jake, even I interesting. I felt so bad when I said that about his grandparents. Oh my. Okay. Let him, all right, guys. Don't this say guy, that. No, please. no, no. It's going to make me look bad. So this guy's probably around 60 years old from what I, I feel like. A little ballpark. 60, 55 to 60 years old, right? He was talking about his grandparents, like where they're, or he used to visit them when he was younger. He'd come to uh to France and visit them every two years when he was younger, growing up. Nat was like, "Oh, how how are they doing now?" <laughs> Nat, he is sixty years old. His grandparents were probably forty when when he was born. Like that's like probably the youngest. All right, sixty plus forty, his age sixty, their age forty. Add that together, that's hundred years old. Who lives to hundred years old? If you do, you're blessed. You're thinking that grandparents are alive. When he's telling us his story now. <laughs> and as soon as she's like, how are your grandparents? I, bu- I, I, I butted her knee. Dude. I was he like, hit the shit out of my knee. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> I, fucked oi, 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 oi. I fucked up. <laughs> and, and he's like, oh, they've passed. And, and I was like, oh. And it got quiet. And I was like, nah, this is awkward. <laughs> as fuck. And then Jake just gave me the. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest side eye. Sometimes Nat just talks out of her ass. <laughs> Babe, but I feel so, so bad. It's so innocent, though. So, like, we everyone understood and everything. But that bro. I'm a dumbass? That's what they understood? <laughs> Babe, I'm going to order room service as soon as I'm done with this. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. Anyway, let me give you guys a little rundown because this is the most interesting man ever. Not like a real rundown, just everything he told us. Dude, so he lived in so many different places. He was born in Madagascar. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so cool. He lived in like Germany. He lived in Dubai. He lives now in France. Like he lived in, um, what's the other place he told us? He told us he lived in somewhere for two. Oh, he was in the army? Yeah. He for was, Germany? Dude, bro was everywhere. He speaks three languages. He speaks uh, French, German, and uh, English. And he's learning Italian. And like he knows a little bit of Italian. But yeah. he's also learning Portuguese because yeah. he wants to go live in uh, Latin America. And I was like. He's been to 50 countries. 50. Five zero. We've been to. Like three. Six. (laughs) Like three. Five. Five. Probably five though. Five. Yeah. (laughs) That is crazy, bro. Like he. Tell him about any place. Like he knew it. He knew everywhere. Like every single place. I was like, what the heck? That is so awesome. And he knows like the streets and everything, dude. Yeah. Like he was so good at his job. And this is why if you guys are traveling and you are still in your saving era for sure save an extra like wait a little bit longer and save that extra money to get a tour guide because they will actually make or break your entire travel experience because if you have a good tour guide which i will say we have never had a bad tour guide we've always had a really good tour guide in you, also Australia. Have to, you also have to look at the reviews too because there's like the reviews tell everything if a person enjoys them they're gonna take the time out of their day to review that person right yeah. if they have no reviews like obviously there's something going on but unless they're new but our aruba experience for example Bro, oh, the yeah. most fun time we've had. And that was our first trip and our first tour guide we had together. Yeah, he was the only Dude. guy that didn't make us feel like little dumbass kids, bro. <laughs> he was the only guy. He took us around in a Jeep, bro. It was so cool. And he made us like, he took us to this cave. It was so awesome. But yeah, so we've always had a cool guy. The one in Australia was super cool too. So it really does make, oh wait, no. I went to freaking Cabo. No, I went to Cancun one time with my girlfriends. And we had the creepiest guys. Dude, I... 
I'm not even going to get into that because it actually gives me the shivers every time I talk about it because of what that guy was like telling us and what he told me. But dude, just the weirdest people. So like, yeah, it is a hit or miss. But that wasn't really a tour guide. That was more of like a company that took a zip lining. Mm-hmm. That's different. It or, was like the workers. It wasn't yes. really like a self tour guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- these people who we usually work with, like it's usually them and like a few other people, like it's smaller companies. But he was awesome, and he was telling us so much good info. Like, he was telling us all the taxes in France, like, good things to know, you know? Like, just all kinds of crazy things. He was telling us that tourism basically, like, funds, like, 50% of their economy, which is crazy. It's so crazy to think about because, like, when COVID hit and it, like, shut all this stuff down, dude, that so many people really lost their job. It's so insane, just telling us all the info about all the places he took us to, like when they built bridges and the, all this stuff. And it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. He knew exactly where to stop. He didn't give a damn if we got rammed into it. Dude, we would park in the middle of the street. Like, it was crazy. And he really made our experience amazing. We were going, like, it was like a two-way road. And he would hold up traffic just for us to take pictures and stuff of the, like, with a view. Like, horses yeah. were walking by and we were taking videos of the horses. And he would just hold traffic up, put his hazards on, and go super slow for us to get, like, some cool shots. He was really cool. He was super awesome. If you guys want to know his info, DM Nat. She booked all that stuff. Yeah. He was awesome. He was so awesome. And we actually booked another tour for um, Sunday, which I'm super, super, super excited about. And I hope he's our guide because that'd be really cool. Yeah. That would be super, super, super cool. But I'm so excited. That really made our experience really awesome. And if you are traveling soon, especially if you're going to a country that you do not speak the language, that's the biggest thing. If you are going somewhere that you don't speak the language, it's always good to have someone in your party who speaks it. Just because if not, you're truly just like lost. Like when I tell you, like we've had to like hand signal to speak a lot of people and try to figure out what we're saying i mean it like it really is <laughs> tough it's crazy we go we walk into like a little restaurant and we, all we do is just like put our fingers yeah, up or two. The, the, the party of two and that's it you don't <laughs> say anything else because they don't understand you just go like this <laughs> and, and then you point at the things on the menu you call it a day like you cannot be picky and all this other stuff it's it's really a different experience but if you have someone who knows the language and knows the area it just really makes things better now if you're going somewhere like, for example, if you live in the States and you're going somewhere else in the States, like you don't necessarily need a guide. You might want to book excursions and stuff. But for this, I, I really recommend it. It's really awesome. He took mm-hmm. us around like the whole mountains and stuff. Yeah, really I cool. agree. Are you excited? We've been up since four in the morning, y'all. We are hungry. We are going to wrap up this podcast. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please review us. If you haven't, if you're listening to the audio, uh, the audio version of this, please review us. Please, it means the world. Yes. It helps us get um, it helps us so much. <laughs> yeah. So, so much. You are giving Ellie and Thea a big yard. A big yard, please. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for listening or watching this podcast. Um, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.